Hi guys, sorry we had some technical glitches, but I'm here. I'm just gonna wait for people to join and then we can start. Sorry for keeping you waiting. So let me start by introducing myself. My name is Ria Kamat. I'm a fashion editor at Vogue India. Um, I thought I'll let you know that once we do start the session, I'm going to put the comment section off only because it's a bit distracting for the demonstration. But don't worry, at the end, I'm going to turn it back on and you can ask all your questions there. Um, so our guest for today is Namrata Soni. She is one of the most incredible hair and makeup artists. I've uh, worked with her on multiple shoots and she's just been a delight to work with. She also has uh, an academy for aspiring artists. Um, today, actually, we're going to talk to her about hair and she's going to tell us and give us some tips on why she swears by the Dyson Air Wrap and why it is one of her go-to tools when she's doing her own hair, as well as doing the hair of her own clients. So I'm actually gonna wait for her to send me a request. Namrita, send me your request. Let me see. She's not here yet. Okay. There we go. I am waiting for Namrata. And it's connecting. Hi. How are you? How are you? Your hair looks great already. <laughs> <laughs> I've come with my freshly washed hair. Me too, but it's drying up really quickly. Yeah, so it's drying up really quickly. Honestly, the sun is really harsh today. It is. So it is. And I'm sitting right by the window, so it's drying my hair out. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on The Vogue. Being here. Honestly, I don't know about anyone else, but I am extremely excited to be a part of this session because I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm sitting at home and I don't know what to do. I know, I know where, why, I know what you're saying. And, you know, honestly, I, I was so happy when Dyson came up with the air app. This is the air app, you know, and what I loved about it is that <laughs> salon hair styling at home. Yeah. So for someone like me, I am, I hate going to the salon because I don't have the time. I mean, that little yeah. time we off, I don't think we're the kind of, but more than anything, you know, the thing that I've been hearing from a lot of people is that they can't wait to go to the salon. But personally, I'm not sure if I feel very confident right now. You know, there's not just too many apps and buys and is this the right thing or not. So, contact if, is too close. It's yeah. In front of yeah. So for me, I know that for the next, at least till the end of the year, at least till maybe October, November, I'm not yeah. going to be stepping up the salon. So for me, um, my Dyson Air Wrap came, you know, in complete usage. I've been using it literally every time I dry my hair because it's been such hot, yeah. humid weather especially with the rains coming you know however beautiful your hair is you do tend to land up having a lot of frizz and a lot of uh, you know um, uh, yeah like stickiness in the hair and even for me like I normally don't have frizzy hair but because of the weather it does tend to get I get flyaways I get frizz so for me this is one of my favorite styling tools and honestly Ria I've been now using it since the time it's come out which is I think almost it's gonna be a year and a half now yeah I think two in December we released it and I was lucky enough to introduce it into the Indian market and yeah, honestly first people I, talk about this product I mean I actually heard about it from you I love it I'm, and yeah. I'm not someone for me for so many years I'm not someone who lends my name to something for the sake of it I don't yeah. lend my name to funny I don't lend my names to things for anything other than the fact that I love the product tried tested used yeah the biggest issue used to be I used to not uh, like putting too much heat in my hair Correct. because we are working so hard and yeah. I just want to not damage my hair because you yeah. know we kids love our, we love oh, our hair. absolutely and um, 
I mean, I've been using the product lately. Not obviously, not as much as you have been. And I must say, it is very self-explanatory. It's so easy to use. But obviously, okay. I'm hoping for you to give me some more tips and tricks to how to do this like seamlessly, basically. You know, it's so much fun, and I'm quite excited. So today, I think let's curl our hair. Let's use the thirty uh, mm hair. So wait. So we have the. This is the thirty mm, right? Let me let me explain the kit to you quickly. Yeah. This is your uh, pre-styling tool. This gets connected, and you can actually, when you come out of the shower, you can actually dry your hair fifty percent with this. Okay, so okay. your hair. Ask me this. Yeah. So if your fifty to sixty percent dry, then you don't need to use this to style okay. your hair further or with a smoothener. But if your hair is soaking wet, I normally okay. steam. I put it on like either medium or high heat, and I just basically remove the excess water from my hair. So right. this takes around. Honestly, it doesn't take me more than three to four minutes to do this when I'm working with it. It's really yeah. amazing. Then, of course, you have your two separate, um, you know, curlers. You have your 30 mm and you have your 40 mm. So for right. people who have long thick hair, I would recommend the 40 mm. For people who have medium short length of hair, I would recommend the 30 mm. And then, of course, you have. I have the complete set. I have my two smoothing brushes. Okay, which is great for again thickness and length. Yeah. The brushes are a game changer. It's They're so easy. A complete game changer. And for those people who absolutely love the salon blow dry, you have your curling brush. <laughs> Are we a blow dry brush? Everyone, so, everyone knows what you're talking about. Exactly, you want that. But you know, I'll tell you something. Before we quickly start this, let me explain to you why. For me, this was a game changer. Was because normally when you go to the salon and you're getting your blow, you're getting an out curl blow dry. Okay, yeah. which is what I'm how to do for yourself today. Yeah. But I'm how to do that with a curler. Okay, yes. the 40 mm curler. Because what happens when you are at a salon? They are constantly pulling and tugging with a lot of pressure, brush. Okay, to get your hair frizz free and straight. So yes. there is a lot of damage, heat being applied to your hair. With this, that is your pre-styling uh, tool, where you just semi-wet dry your hair and then you start using your um, 30 mm curler. The yeah. beauty is that it really, really does not pull and tug, and because of the Kawanda effect, it Good does day. not. Do you know what the Kawanda effect is? So it's it. I understand it, but I think it's best if you explain it. It's basically if you see the little slats over here, okay, yeah. a certain amount of pressure of air that builds around it, and that's what takes your hair and wraps it around the curl, around right. the curler. Not where you're taking your hair and you're wrapping it around the heat. That's the, it's that's the toughest part, according to me. Yeah, the air is what is drying it and giving it that curl. So it's actually a beautiful technology that has been introduced by Dyson, yeah. and for me. Able because again, like I've been using this now for the last a year and a half, and there's been no damage to my hair. You yeah. know, so for me, I I want something that is damage free. Yeah. So let's start. Um, another couple of things that I want to just mention to you guys is if you have very very frizzy hair, okay, yeah. but you still want that blow dry effect, start with a smoothener on your hair. So you okay. will first have the smoothener, and you will just smoothen out all your hair, section okay. by section. Once you're done with this, again, you don't need to uh, dry it completely with this. Just dry it around fifty, sixty percent. Then go in with your thirty mm curler. So I think the dampness of my hair right now is good for to start with. You don't have extremely frizzy hair. There are people who have curly frizzy hair, so I would recommend that they use the brush before. So just dry your hair and with the pre-styling tool. And then use this another thirty percent to dry, just so that you get a little bit of smoothness in the hair, and yeah. then thirty mm just to get that beautiful tong effect. So okay. should we start? Yeah, let's start. Also, guys, if you all have a Dyson hair app at home, please pull yours out and do your hair with us. It's a this is all about having a good time. <laughs> another thing that you can remember is that if you because we live in India, we have yeah. very very weather, and also our hair is very heavy up because of the monsoon. So yeah. you can add a little bit of a hairspray or a little bit of a, a hair mousse, a little bit of a curl product in your hair, so that the style lasts longer. It's very yeah. important. 
already applied a little bit of hair mousse in my hair so I that feel, you know you think yeah you can but you can even use a hairspray what do you have with you i just have a hairspray so let's do that in the end you don't need to do that okay. on wet okay so just make sure that you brush out your hair with a nice comb you know okay. just knots now what i like to do is i just like to make sure that my hair is really well parted so okay. i always have these little clips with me okay so i know tight parting but i have a middle not so much in the center so i tend to have more hair to attend to on this side than this side yeah. i don't know what else problem is like it, it looks nicer on my face now i'm taking a year to year section okay and creating that okay again i'm taking that and i'm just going to clip it away just so that i get a nice clean section of hair so can you see that yep i'm trying to uh, follow exactly what you're doing okay because my hair is dried up a lot i'm just going to wet it a little bit with a water spray because okay. i will be nice tight curl so a lot of people get very scared when they're doing the tongs because the 30 mm is actually really really tight but you need to make sure that it remains tight because it does fall open a little bit so you yeah. land up getting nice big you know open waves and curls in your hair yeah. so you don't need to stress okay so now i'm taking a one and a half inch section on the top okay i always just make sure there are no knots in your hair okay take a smaller section right that's that's yeah. the better so half inch section never take a section which is so this is incorrect so if you take a section like this it's incorrect it's too thick okay so just okay. from the square one and a half inch section just right here can you see the difference yeah i think okay I'm... so you a tighter curl right okay i'm just so going to tuck the rest of it in my ear i'm going to tuck the rest of it behind my ear Okay. Now, do you, you've already you've obviously used this. You know that the, when the yeah. arrow is when you're looking at the camera, when the arrow is facing outward, is the direction that your yes. uh, curler has. This okay. is the right. Hold it halfway down, midway down, and you allow it to wrap around the era. Okay. Hand and go all the way to the top. Okay, the beauty is that it has these little buttons here, so you can reduce the heat, you can reduce the speed, you can increase the speed, and you can even increase your heat a little bit. After this is dry, you can touch it a little bit; it's not too hot. I'm going to give it a cool shot. So that's by pushing the power button up. I'm yeah. giving it a cool shot. I'm holding it for a good five to seven seconds, switching it off. leaving it in the curler for another additional 2 to 3 seconds and letting go so it looks like i have a little piglet like curl in my hair but don't worry don't yeah. touch it tight don't it is better it is okay oh. now for section, a lot of people make the mistake of taking the section this way okay so that is square coming straight down okay the bottom first yeah always do the bottom first is just easier okay. Okay, so again, just take your, hold it halfway or three fourths down, one fourth. Allow the Kuanda effect to actually take your hair, and all I'm doing is is just moving my hand at the back. So you, uh, it's a very beautiful, smooth up and down. It should not be so tight that my hair is stuck on it. Right. Okay. I'm giving it a cool shot and letting go. Okay. Almost as good, Namita. <laughs> ah, you're doing it so well. Okay. That's super Namita. easy. You get it. It literally takes like one attempt to get a hang of it, and then and what? Once you get a hang, it is so that you only want to keep doing this. My hair is slightly longer than yours, so it's yeah. the. Slightly, you know, or way down, but the more layers you have in your hair, the more beautiful the effect of the curls will be. So you can see how it actually just stays on that. Yeah, I like that little cold shot at the end. Yeah, it's it's the more, and you know, the cold shot is what seals 
the curl in place. So a lot of people don't understand why you need to give it a cool shot. Right. But it's like you know when you when you actually curl your hair with the tong, you right. actually open it for a good seven to eight minutes because you need all your hair to have cooled down. So the beauty of this is the cool it's shot instantly cools it down, so you don't have to wait. So just see how easy it is. Okay, I'm just gonna come close. And it's and if you find the heat too much, is it decrease it a little bit. But if you're comfortable with it, let it be there. Okay, and I'm giving it a cool shot and letting it go. Okay, so I've done the front. Now I'm going into the back. So I always struggle with the back. I feel like just because it's behind. Okay. So the um, best of doing the back is. Okay, just separate the sections. So see what I'm doing. This is halfway. I'm just separating the section. Can you see that? And I, yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, I'm trying to catch up with you. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. So now section. Just what go hard. Front? Should I pin it back or? Yeah. You can take a clip very gently. And you can pin it on the top, yeah. Okay. Or your comfort level. Okay. And now, just from the back section, just go straight horizontal and separate the two sections, the top half and the bottom half. So okay. you'll get a curl, and you'll get a better curl. Okay. Now this section is very easy. Just go straight in and take a square section, and continue with your. Because now my hair length has got less layers, I'm just holding it in place till I go at the back. I actually find it easier to start with because I feel like this is shorter. Like feels yeah. like small. so. Do you think that's okay if I start here? It's At, of course, you can start at the nape. That's even I'm doing the nape of my neck. Okay, is I've separated the top from the bottom, so this is the hair on the nape of my neck. Okay. So can you see? I'm just holding it while I take it back, so that the hair neatly goes into the. Right. Yeah. Let's see. It's like it feels therapeutic every time you get a successful curl. Yes, and you know what you need to remember is that if you take a very thick section, you are not going to get a curl which will last. It will right. fall flat very, very quickly. I'm sure you've realized that when you've been. I working. have. I... So I have to remind myself to take smaller sections. Yeah, it just becomes a beautiful tight curl which actually allows the hairstyle to stay in place for a much, much longer time. I'm on my, not my last section. <laughs> uh, the hair, the back of our head is much thicker. Yes, you always have more volume at the back of your head than the sides because also see the expanse of your head. There is a lot more. It's a lot more. It's more rounded at the back, so there's a lot more strands of hair. Some right. people have to have a lot of hair in the front, but most people have more hair at the back. So if you want, you can also start from the back, and okay. then do the front at the end. It just depends on your comfort zone. Right. Okay. So you can see I've just done the bottom back. Now I'm just going to lift this side. Okay, and I'm just gonna run a comb through it. Okay, are you done with one side? No, I'm not done with this side. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm so far behind. No, no, no. But you know, honestly, Ria, I can do my entire hair in ten minutes. I'm sure. I'm sure the product kind of lends itself to that. So yeah. And the thing is, the more you work with it, yeah, you, it is so quick. It is so fast, and. You can literally do it in your sleep once you get used to it. Like I don't even need a mirror to do this. I yeah. do it without. Almost there. Yep. 
honestly, I like it. Honestly, when I'm using my hair, and I like my hair to have clean sections of the top of the curl of the curls. Okay, so I'm actually going to show how the hair wraps around for people in case a lot yeah. of people I'm sure have missed this this product. You know, it's literally like a miracle box for me. You know, so I'm just you know, clip this away first. Okay, so let's show them a section, Ria. I think that'll be good. Guys, I'm just holding it like one fourth left. I'm allowing it to wrap around. So can you see how it? I'm going to show you again. So I'm going to get my curler here, and I'm going to switch it on and allow the coanda effect to actually wrap the hair around. Okay, so if you have a very thick section of hair, it will not wrap around quickly. It yeah. will start coming. Okay, so make sure you will instantly know when there's too much hair on the curler, so then you can remove it and take a slightly smaller section. Okay, so sometimes when you're doing this, you'll end up looking like a poodle. But it's a poodle that's worth it. <laughs> it's just everything is pinned in different places. Yeah, but the end result is going to be great. It's worth it. End result, gorgeous. Yeah. I think I should divide this up into two parts. This is the last bit. You have quite thick hair, you know. Your back hair is quite thick. So I'm actually done with my side. I also have because it's side parted. I have more on this side. Yeah, you do. I'm just gonna get this side prepped in the meantime, so you can actually see it comes up by almost two and a half inches. The curls, which you I know. like. I haven't had a haircut in a long time. Me too. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clip this away, the back section. And I'm gonna clip this away, so, so you can see my. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. What I would recommend is just use a little bit of hairspray because I've already used a hair mousse in my hair, so okay. I don't need much of a hairspray. But you can use like a medium or strong hold hairspray. Just right. spritz. It. Yeah. Okay. Great. So let's so move now. We need to change our barrel. Okay. Right. So I'm connected. Yes, and I'm going to use the barrel that comes, goes outwards towards the right. right now. Okay, as my hair is really, really dry already, I'm just wetting it down a bit because I just want my curls to be nice and tight. Okay, so I always keep a little bottle handy. Okay, again, so I just want to show everybody the mistake most people make. Okay, the right. section that is so big, and they mm. expect the curl to be really, really nice and tight. Okay, so this is what happens to your hair when you take a very large section to curl it. Okay, can you see half the hair is actually not catching on? It takes very right. long, on, and it doesn't go around very smooth and clean. Can you see that? Yeah. Also, honestly, what I've realized is that the machine tells you if you're doing it wrong. So it's just to the machine when it's telling you. Yeah, it will. It just won't take your hair. So. That's just the only sign you need to look out for. Okay, so I'm now changing that, and I'm taking a much smaller section, half the size, and I'm going all the way to the top. You can see how clean and smooth that looks. So when I come towards my ears, Ria, I normally yeah. tend to do much finer sections because this is the area of your head that actually the curls come loose very quickly. Okay, the so ones are. Oh, I 
thinner sections over here so that I get a better curl and a tighter curl. Like I actually watch a TV show or television when I'm doing this because if you see the sound is so low, it's very low. Act you, it's not very noisy, yeah. and it, you can you can actually hear things. You yeah, know, I can watch a TV show when I'm doing this. Honestly, whenever you use, uh, you know, the beauty of this product is while it does heat up, it's still very safe. Like I don't feel afraid bringing it close to my face. Burn you. Yeah. which is your my fear most of the time especially if i'm not you know if i'm if i'm not looking to mirror or if i have to do it on the go oh yeah and the amount of times i've actually burnt my scalp with a tong a regular tong yeah. is unbelievable i have no sensation left on my fingertips by the way because I, of yours i can't feel my fingertips they're all burnt oh no and i'm that it's literally all burnt okay now okay, i'm so I'm now going to quickly go into my back because I've taken a middle set parting, so my hair is going to right. be a lot more to finish. So it in the similar way that I did it on the other yes. side. Yes. Yes. With the neck. Okay. Just going to wet this. it's not going to get done correctly so i have to make it smaller yeah honestly namita if i can do this on my own i don't see why i need to rush and go to a parlor any salon once you master this i'm yeah. not lying to you like i don't even enter a salon to do my i mean i never ever salon since i've gotten this to do my hair ever i can i can give myself beach waves I can straighten my hair. I can give myself an out curl blow dry. I can give myself normal, beautiful waves. It is unbelievable the amount of styles that you can do with this one right. piece of unbelievable. Question, which you know, I'm sure most people have, and is how long? Like, does it last for very long? You know, it does. Again, uh, the only reason in India I would recommend that you use either a hair mousse. a styling cream or a, a a little bit of hair spray later is because we do live in extremely extremely humid climate so we need a little bit of help to allow this to last so um if you put the right product for your hair you will never have a problem with it lasting so for me when i do this even after 7 hours the curls are still in my hair but that's also because i've used the hair mousse or a styling cream in my hair to you know allow the curls to last longer whenever i've used it if i use smaller sections and sort of let it stay in there tighter it stays much yeah. longer so always that's the little with i am curling. less long is and you know riya that goes for any kind of curling like even if you yeah. use a simple tong and you take your sections and you take smaller sections it will always last you longer than using Sections will give you waves. Yeah. So for me, this curler is like just look at it. Like my hair looks like I'm I'm at the salon right now, or I'm at a photo shoot. <laughs> looks like Namrata Sony did your hair. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I never get to do my I, own. Namrata Sony did my hair. Today you can say Ria. Yeah. <laughs> Ria. <laughs> That sounds. <laughs> that counts for nothing <laughs> okay so i am now going to last stop section last bit of hair yeah i behind you now because i have more hair on this side it's so weird you know everybody has more hair on the right or the left <laughs> i have more hair on the right oh, really <laughs> I mine is just different just because of my parting. 
my I mean I've always tried to have a center part and never stays. Oh the ball. Party. What? I said I've never seen even at award functions that you would never. Oh. I've tried it just it just goes back to this side. It's just lopsided. Oh, I have one thing that I forgot about. That's okay. You can always go back and just do that. The beauty is that they're all going in the same direction. So you don't yeah. have to after being disconnected from the rest of your hair slightly thinner sections when i'm coming on the top because i want a slightly more i have very limp hair my yeah. hair is, so i have a slightly thinner section on the top so that it lasts a little longer for me you know so just remember that and keep that in mind for people who have slightly straight or slightly limp hair i think i am done i'm on the last section then i will join you we're looking pulled up and you know check the time it's taken us just 15 it's, minutes that's crazy it's crazy just put a little bit of hairspray on that side of your that much time to go to the parlor exactly put a little bit of hairspray on that side of your hair okay it okay, now the beauty is that a lot of people love this tong effect so leave it some people love it you can yeah. leave it okay but for me i love my hair when it's in a little bit of a wave i like that beachy wave look yeah So I'm going to material. Yes, exactly. And also like, you know, you want it to be a little bit more natural. Yeah. So you're going to this and you're going to take your smoothener, okay? You're going to take a smoothing tool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Now one, I Yeah. Just the plain gray one. Okay. Okay, and I'm just taking the front section. Can you see the front section of mine? Yeah. So do yeah. I just I want a little bit more volume and smoothness over here. Okay. Okay. So you can either go back with the tong, or because I want that smoothness, I'm just gonna switch this on, taking it from the top. Right. Just for a little pressure, I'm gonna start curling this. I'm gonna start turning this 360 degrees. Okay. I'm giving a little bit pressure and getting it all the way down. Okay. And then give it a cool shot. and let go okay so if you see my curl is still there it's just that i get a lot more bounce in my hair can you see the difference yeah okay. just, now have your you have your brush yes i have a brush now just see what i'm going to do on one side i'm just lifting all of it okay and when you have the roots yeah so when you have a little bit of product in your hair it will always be a little crunchy yeah, so don't get not going to break or anything just start from the top and get all the knots out till the center that's it just till the center you're not taking the brush all okay. the way down okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold my hand take my brush from the top and i'm going to start coming downwards by just basically i'm giving myself an out curl so basically i'm taking it from the back and i'm getting it back and getting it out okay so i'm just yeah. getting it here and i'm allowing my curl to so then when i let go can you see what happens to the hair oh, you get a lot more body and a lot more volume so you can see the difference yeah. on the left side of my hair and the right side of my hair so that little extra that i did on top just allows that to cut my face and give me a beautiful wave in the front of my hair I can't believe like this has been done by myself. <laughs> exactly. So now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to lift your hair, just get all of it to the center while holding it in a ponytail. Okay. So you're just basically making sure there are no knots. Okay, and then slowly start coming from the back and brushing it out. 
Okay, so I get these beautiful big waves in my hair. You know, this actually looks, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And it actually looks like I've gone to the salon and I've gotten a blow dryer. This is what I have to sit in the salon for one and a half hour to get this effect in my hair normally. You know, I mean, and we've done it. Eight minutes. minutes at home. So I would definitely it's sign up for this over. Any, and, and going to the salon. Okay, and, and you know, the beauty is that because I took the front section, I can actually just take my hair to the side to get that extra sexy volume to the left yeah. side, to the just so that, you know, I can play around with my hair a little bit, you know, so it just depends. But me being me, I love my center parting. <laughs> so it tends to go back to the center, but just the volume, it's unbelievable. Then of course, a little bit of styling, you can just take it and you can tuck just the front behind your ear. You know, just to keep it a little more modern. And you still, can you see the body? It actually looks like I've got extensions in my hair. It's unbelievable. You also have beautiful hair, Namrita. So. Uh, you, Ria, what I would do is something extra. I yeah. would just, just go back to your tongue. Oh, sorry, to your curler. Okay, to for your left side. For my left side. Okay. Yeah, the side this parting. One. This, this side, side, yes. And just take the front section and recurl it for me. Because I want it to be slightly tighter and I'll show you how to open that. Put a cold blast and let it go. Okay. Just okay. let that down for just another few minutes and then we will uh, open that out. Okay, so that's what I love about this. Like, look at it. It's just unbelievable, you know. And this has been done in 20 minutes. You can even take a little bit of hair wax or a little bit of pomade in your hands just in case right. you have a little serum in your hands. You know, like a little bit of a Moroccan oil or a little bit of an argan oil just to get that shine and that beautiful, you know, uh, uh, glistening effect to your hair. Your hair. It makes right? you feel a little bit of gloss in your hair. Exactly. It gives you a little bit of that extra oomph. Okay, so can you see how you're already blending into the rest of it, the front? Yes. So it's actually nice. I can always go and touch up little you sections that I'm not... Tighten a section of your hair because sometimes we use a brush to open it out. Certain mm. sections of your hair will come, you know, a little bit looser than the others. So you can just go back in and you can re those sections of your hair and set them back in place so now i have fabulous looking hair but i have nowhere to go namrita <laughs> so if you do, do a selfie and a little bit my living room now that my hair looks like this <laughs> my husband keeps telling me all the time he's like you're constantly doing this but you have nowhere to go no, I said, no. I don't. look at it how can i not want this kind of hair but uh, open up the comments right now because i feel like yeah. people have so many things to ask you so yes, quickly open that up and let's see what people have to say. Right now, everyone's just impressed with the way our hair looks. Lots of yeah. heart guys. And you know, I'm really glad that we did this together because people need to see how it actually works. And we did a proper session where right. see how it works. Important. And because I'm not saying such an easy product to use. I've used it before. This is not the first time I'm using it, but I feel like every time you use it, you figure out what works best for you and your hair. Um, you know, you, you kind of understand the length of your hair, the different like tips and tricks that work best for you. Exactly. And that is what is so beautiful about it. what is a heat protection product. I've, I've actually just used a hair mousse in my hair on my wet hair. And uh, you can use a heat protector. You get all, most brands do a good heat protector for your hair. So you can go and pick up whichever one you want. So uh, we somebody... have some... Amrita. So um, I'm getting the sense that people want to know that, you know, how useful is it for thin hair? I think that's one of the big problems a lot of people worry about. Um, and how do you make it not fall flat? So I think what you need to remember is if you went to a salon, if you are someone who has thin hair or fine hair and you went to a salon, you would see that in the salon also they put a curling cream or a hair mousse in your hair and then each section was done, thin, thin sections were done to get that water 
hair or tong or whatever it is that they're using. So you have to apply the same fundamental to the Dyson era. Okay, right. so you take wet, apply a hair mousse or a styling cream in your hair, section it out. The biggest mistake people make is that they start doing it like this. They take one section, then they try and push it, then they keep one from the back. So right. you need clean and you need to do it even, which is why I use normal butterfly clips. I don't even use like fancy clips. I just yeah. use these styling. I section out my hair so that I know exactly where I'm curling it. I take medium sections, not too thin, not too thick, even if you have fine hair or you have, you know, um, uh, thin hair. And you, but you hold it in place. So that means on heat, you need to hold it 15 to 20 seconds and give a five second cold blast to it. And yeah. then most people, I'm not lying to you, I've seen this even in my line of work when I'm working with, you know, my models or my celebrities. We curl their hair and while we are going to the next section, they're already doing this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, stop fidgeting with your hair. Right. Allow it to down, allow it to settle, finish the rest of your hair and then set. Don't touch your hair. Don't touch your hair. Like, look at your hair. It's still looking so beautiful. You know, yeah. so allow... I will actually put up a picture of myself late at night and I will show you how my curls have done. I, I may have thick hair, but I have focused straight hair. Like it just falls flat. When I go to the salon, curl it with a, uh, with a normal tong, my hair looks like it's stuck together and it looks thin and it looks like it's completely gone, the curls, in like 20 minutes when I step out. This is the right. only thing that has my hair over the years. Um, another question that seems to be uh, asked by a lot of people is if you have short hair how do you use the product oh that's such a beautiful question so your 30 mm hair okay your yeah. 30 mm color is amazing for short hair even the 40 mm but i like the 30 mm again do the same sectioning so if you have like a nice bob or a blanc cut just do the same sectioning just decide the side that you want to take whether it's a side parting or a center parting um curl it Take a little bit of a styling pomade in your hand and then just set it into place. It will look stunning. If you have short hair and you love straight hair, just use the brush. It gives great volume. You can even go in and actually give a little bit of volume with it. That's really yeah. cute, Bob. I feel like that's what you would get. Well, like, let me explain like, what I normally do. Like For me, this is still a lot of curls. I yeah. land up actually doing this a lot. I take the front section of my hair. And I actually start curling it going outwards. Okay? So I actually start curling it going outwards and holding this tight. So I get a beautiful out curl just at my, you know, so that very Rachel kind of friends kind of, you know, beautiful out curl in the, uh, on the hair. So it looks really lovely. So I do that to my entire hair. I actually take this and I go over my entire hair after curling it just to get that more natural look in my hair. Which is what we all want to achieve. It, like we've done our hair, but we it doesn't look like we've done our hair. Exactly. People should think that we woke up like this. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Tomorrow I will look like this when I wake up. Yeah, exactly. So obviously, I think keeping in mind um, the current weather conditions, there seems to be lots of questions with regard to fizz. You have addressed it, but I feel like people are very concerned about the fizz right now. I mean, the frizz. Okay, so what I would recommend is that do use a, um, you know, like a list control cream or a frizz control cream in your hair when it is damp from the shower. So towel dry your hair, use it, use a little bit, like you have to use like a coin size product in your entire hair. Okay, sometimes for people who have thicker or longer hair, you can use a little bit more product. You can even section your hair and apply the product evenly everywhere. Brush it out with a tooth comb and then start styling your hair. Okay, it is really important in this weather especially and in Bombay especially because we live in, mm -hmm. we had throughout the year even in the winters we need to make sure that we put the right product so you need to figure out what is your hair type and what is the right product for your hair type right the, the rest of the magic the dyson will do for you right and that seems to be something a lot of people are asking they want to know you know some people have short hair some people have thin hair some people have frizzy hair i have someone asking me about how they have very crimped hair and how they can actually use the product 
Uh, so you can actually use a smoothing brush first to just get rid of that extreme crimped effect. And then you can go in with, you can even use your roller brush, you know, to add a little volume and to get rid of the crimped effect. And then if you're someone who likes your curls, go in with a 30 mm or 40 mm at the end and you will still get that beautiful uh, waves and curls in your hair. Yeah, and honestly, this is the one thing that I've realized. Like the, this, uh, the, I mean, the air wrap is one item, but then you said your straightener. There is something for every hair type, so it's not like you're only isolating certain versions. You have smooth, all volume and shape, and the complete set. So your volume and shape is basically for people who love curls in their hair and who love the waves in their hair. So you get your, um, you get your blow dry attachment, you get your smoothing attachment, and you get your 40 mm tongs in it. Right. Okay. Then you have your, sm and you get your pre-styling tool. Okay, so that's your volume and, uh, that's your volume and control. Then you have your shape and uh, your smooth and con your smoothness, which is again, your, your smoothing brush. You have your pre-styling uh, tool. You again get another set of your uh, t uh, curlers. And uh, the one thing you don't get in that is your blow drying brush. Okay. And then you, and of course, have the complete set, which has everything. So, you know, I love the complete set because depending on the mood I'm in, I can just do what I want to do. So I always get the complete set and I always recommend the complete set to all my clients. And... It's good to see. I'm getting a lot of messages on people saying that they actually love the product and they have been using it. Uh, someone's been asking me, what's the product name? Uh, I think they seem to have missed it out in the beginning. This is the Dyson Air Wrap. Dyson Air Wrap. That's how it looks. Yes. Okay. And it is such a nice product. For me, what I love about it, another thing that I love, Ria, is that it doesn't hurt my hands. You know, mm. because itself is so light. Normally, when you're using a hairdryer or you're using a straightener or you're using a tongue, your hand starts hurting after some time because right. you're constantly in this position and you're in this position. So you either get a neck crick or you get a backache or you get a hand ache. You know, uh -huh. but literally, I'm in one position. You just shift it from hand to hand, and you know, you get no kind of ache at all. That's that's amazing. So I'm actually gonna um, have to stop answering questions because I feel oh. like we're out of time. But um, I'm going to save this video for everyone who joined in slightly later. Um, the video is going to be saved in, on the Vogue Instagram on our IGTV section. So please go and watch it if you want more tips. Uh, I think, Namrata, you've pretty much covered all the questions there are. Um, but this was so much fun. I'm going to go whip up a fancy dinner now to go with my fancy hair. <laughs> just like a No, I just like chill a little bit. <laughs> And I'll be wearing sweats. <laughs> That's what we are all sitting That's in now. We're all doing. We are okay. okay, but thank you so much, uh, Ria, for having uh, you know on Vogue. And I hope I've answered everybody's questions, uh, guys. Remember something: invest in something that actually makes a difference to your hair and protects your hair. You know, because there are too many gadgets coming out that actually really, really mess up your hair. So make sure that you do your research, figure out what it is that you love, and go buy the dice. Yes. I will be using mine. Thank you, Namrata. I will see you soon, hopefully, on set. Yes. Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's, lots of love. Take care. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Bye.